Healthcare is another recent industry being impacted by rising fuel prices, but you won't see that increase on your next bill. News 8 Now's Du Ismar spoke to Gunderson Health System by, about why it won't increase transportation fees. Dua? Amy, Gunderson Health System says rising gas prices are just one factor when it comes to ambulance and air fees. The rising cost of gas is burning a hole in many wallets. We are feeling that in our budget. And now it's also affecting health care. In a year, we put about 400,000 miles on our fleet of ambulances, and we use about 45,000 gallons of fuel. Gunderson Air and Tri-State Ambulances say high gas prices are putting a dent in their budgets. Uh, Medicare doesn't take into account the price of gas when they decide on reimbursement, and neither do other insurance companies. Tri-State and Air say the cost of fuel has increased 30 to 35 percent. We were probably about on average paying $5 per gallon for jet fuel, and now it's up to 8 or $10. Both Tri-State and Air respond to calls from rural areas. They say the cost of fuel can add up from the distance they travel. Some of our trips are 10 minutes and 25 minutes and some are an hour, so it varies greatly. But Gunderson Health System says the rising cost of fuel does not mean the hospital will increase its fees. The patients won't see any change in their ambulance bills based on the cost of fuel. The increased cost of fuel also won't affect how far they travel to provide care. When one ambulance goes out, we all move our ambulances around to cover the service area equally, and that's something that we'll continue to do, no matter the price of gas. Making sure health care can be found anywhere, despite the price at the pump. Gunderson Air says buying fuel in bulk has helped them lower some of those costs. All right, thank you, Dua.